Ahoy and welcome. I know what you're thinking. You don't have to sue your optometrist. You're reading correctly. A tutorial for an Iron Man necklace. The arc reactor on a chain. Um, just to make sure I uh, know what I'm going to wear when I go at the theater and see the Avengers movie. Infinite War. Can't wait. And uh, yeah, enough talk. Let's dive right into it. And here we go. So what we need is a pen for the marking, white LEDs, 3 millimeters. This is a button cell holder, watch cell holder. A piece of 2 millimeter thick plexiglass, just gray because there's a protective foil. And the core piece, core piece, tubing, but we only need a ring. So, um, over here, most, uh, yeah. Most uh, sellers on eBay offer cutting services, so um, tell them to cut you with a four millimeter uh, ring. That's not even a fifth of an inch for all our American viewers. And what else do we need? Soldering iron for the electrical part, the solder, believe it or not, white paint. To make it shine and a Dremel tool. This is a Proxon tool, but uh, still. And uh, yeah, now we start with cutting out the center to fill up the ring and give it a bottom. So let's go. And this very simple image just uh, helps out when uh, putting on the elements. And I just cut. Um, masking tape in half, but uh, regular clear tape will do as well. Nothing special. Looks alright. Now I wrap them around. And make it ready for paint. Doesn't make much sense yet. But it will. Trust me, I know what I'm doing, most of the time, hopefully, and yeah, I will, boom, there we are, and now, one hole, right through there, why, it's way easier to paint when you put a piece of wire in, like this and I can paint it turn it looks good and I will um, rough up the edges a bit the outer line just with a bit of uh, sanding paper or steel wool to make the paint stick better and then we are ready for paint and I'll just dust it over with a bit of white it's still translucent don't make it uh, and cover it in white. After painting the white spots we now take care of the intersections and just to make sure it uh, lights up where it should <clears throat> I will paint the intersections black and uh, make sure only the bright spots light up and here we go just like this. Uh, looks like a zebra right now but uh, as soon as we light it up it will make perfect sense and the next step is turning on my lathe, just turning a bit of uh, the ring off to make sure I can lay in um, the LED legs on the inside without having them sticking out. And now that I have my little edge, I can start drill holes, one in each uh, white center and we are almost done. Next step, 10 LEDs, white 3 millimeters, um, bent that way to make sure the longer leg is on the outside of your circle and then we bend them all towards each other 
solder them, connect them, and make it light up. And done. We got a quick test run. Oh yeah. Now that the bottom plate is uh, glued in and all LEDs are connected, I will just put one stream of uh, hot glue between the legs of all LEDs for installation. make sure they will never touch just like this and now we put in switch and battery holder I actually could just uh, glue in the little switch here but I'm a no I'm a weirdo I need this a holder for the for the um, switch and I will just mill out the hole for the black noopsy and then screw it in there and almost done almost done um, the holder is in two screws hold it screws hold the switch from the inside and yeah all we need now is another piece of uh, tiny red wire because this goes to the switch well actually it might even be just enough this one goes out to the switch and from the switch we go to the LED plus and um, battery minus goes to LED minus aka the inner ring of uh, your LEDs there and that's it. Let's go. And the best for last, the black one. And done. That's actually it. Three wires couple of LEDs, a battery holder. <coughs> That's the hole for the for the necklace, let's see. I recommend a two millimeter necklace so you need a smaller hole. For the last finishing touches for all the perfectionists out there like myself. Um, if you want to cover up the ugly backside, you uh, could use this sticky foam. It's really thin and you can just peel off the protection foil. And put it on there. And for the front, perforated sheet metal. As a little cover, two more screws and the battery will last an hour at least so no need to remove it, just looks way cooler, almost like a real arc reactor. And now let's put the chain on. The final t-shirt test, I'd say it's approved, it looks like an arc reactor even in a bright room, lights on. I'm pretty happy. Now um, I know what I'm gonna wear to the premiere of Infinity War, The Avengers. Can't wait. And yeah, now go make your own. I'm afraid this is it for today, guys. And uh, let me know what you wanna see next. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.